friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's self-care Sunday video. Self-care Sunday is the one day a week that we come together for a little self-care, skincare, and soul care to talk about all things mindset and manifestation. Um, on the day of recording, I'm like nice and cozy, freshly moisturized. It's a rainy day and I'm just really excited to be here vibing with y'all for a little self-care. I just moisturized, so I'm not going to do a face mask today. I am... This, Bear with me. This is a little weird. I'm going to be hanging out and just eating some snacks. I've got this big bowl of berries. Look at this. Looking chic in my teak. This is a, it's a teak wooden bowl. I had someone comment recently and they were like, you should do another food haul. So back a couple of years ago, I like was like, oh, I'm going to record a video just like hanging out and eating a bunch of food and talking to you guys about some LOA stuff. And I did, and it was super fun because I really like eating. Um, I'm not doing as much like fast food as I was then. Back then I was like really busy working a lot, so I ate more fast food. I'm trying to eat really clean now. So like a, a teak bowl filled with organic berries is amazing and my idea of heaven. So someone asked me, they were like, hey, can you record a video just like hanging out eating? And I'm like, yeah, I love to eat. And for me, it's self-care. So that is the self-care I'm gonna be doing during this video. If you are someone who is triggered by watching other people eat, please just don't watch the video. I did get hate on the last one where they were like, this is really irresponsible of you posting this video. Y'all, it was literally like my normal amount of food that I eat. I was just eating it and recording. I got hate. I got people saying they were unsubscribing to my channel. Y'all, I understand there are things that are hard for other people to watch. If watching me eat is difficult, don't do it. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to eat some berries. I'm going to talk to y'all about dreams. So a question I get asked, I feel like it's almost every self-care Sunday, is people will ask me about the dreams that they're having. Specifically, they're like, hey, listen, I'm having really good dreams about my specific person. Does this mean it's about to happen? Or inversely, I'm having really bad dreams about them. Or I'm dreaming there's a third party. Or I'm dreaming he never sees me again. What does this mean? So we're going to unpack all that today in between me eating some like delicious, like truly delicious berries. So basically dreams can mean something. Dreams can also mean nothing. It's really your own discernment that's going to help you decide which is which. Often our dreams are a reflection of whatever is in our subconscious mind. And that is why if you watch a movie before bed, sometimes you'll see themes from that movie popping up in your sleep. Like one time I was binge watching The Walking Dead. I watched a bunch of episodes of The Walking Dead leading up to bed. I go to bed and you guys know, I talk about this in my videos. The minutes leading up to sleep are the most powerful for impressing on your subconscious mind. That's why I recommend affirming right before bed. But in this case, I was not affirming before bed. I was binge watching The Walking Dead. So not shockingly, I went to sleep and that entire night I was getting chased around for eight hours by a bunch of freaking zombies because I had just impressed that on my subconscious mind. Here's where I hope you get some reassurance. This happened years ago. Have I manifested a zombie apocalypse since then? No, I haven't. So just because you're dreaming something, it doesn't mean it's going to come to fruition, right? It can if you don't address it right? Or if you breathe too much life into it. But just because you dream something doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay. And I'm sure you probably have cases where you like, you're watching Sex in the City before bed, you go to sleep and you dream your closet is filled with shoes, you know, because those minutes leading up to bed are so powerful for impressing on our subconscious mind. So I personally, with some exceptions here and there, don't watch movies or TV or social media before bed at least an hour before bed, I'm like, nope. And I'm doing my skincare or I'm reading a book, journaling, hanging out with my husband, catching up on our day. I am not going to be like eating. It's, like, it's almost like eating a bunch of junk food before bed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put the like the brain equivalent of junk food and shovel it into my subconscious mind right before going to sleep. So when you're dreaming, about the situation that you're manifesting, you know, these raspberries are good. I think out of everything I have right now, the blueberries, the raspberries, and the strawberries, the raspberries are really hidden. So if you're dreaming about the situation that you're manifesting, 
in a good way, like your dreaming SP is calling you or they're texting you or whatever, it means that you have saturated your subconscious with these beliefs, right? That is a good thing. That's awesome. Is it a sign? Definitely. Sure, it can be that you have thoroughly saturated your subconscious mind. How does manifestation work, you guys? When we're saying our affirmations or visualizing or scripting or dancing around naked and drinking moon water or however you create as a conscious creator, when we're doing these things, we are imprinting these beliefs onto our subconscious mind. And once these beliefs are imprinted onto our subconscious mind, once we've saturated our subconscious, then these beliefs go forth and manifest into our reality. They leave our brain and enter as a reflection back to us, our universe. So when you're dreaming positive things about your manifestation, it means, yay, good job. You've saturated your subconscious mind. But what if you're dreaming negative things? That just means you're still holding on to some old beliefs. You can still manifest your desired outcomes, even if those old beliefs are lingering. Would I prefer they not be there? Absolutely. But it's not going to throw you off if they are. When I was manifesting reconciliation with an ex, when I was manifesting my specific person, the guy who's now my husband, I had this recurring nightmare that I... Hey, like this is this is what I dreamt. This was my recurring nightmare. I dreamt that I went to his apartment to surprise him. I shoved his apartment, knock on the door, and a strange woman in a towel opens the door. Y'all, even now, when we've been back together three and a half years, even now, just describing it, pit in my stomach, feels sick. And and the girl in the dream was no one that I knew. It was just some random girl, right? Because my subconscious, I still held this fear of him moving on, of him meeting someone else, of him replacing me, of him abandoning me. I had so much fear inside of me. But even when I had those dreams, and sometimes they were so real, I would wake up and I would just cry. Oh my God, I would cry. But even when I was having those dreams, I still persisted in my manifestation. I was like, nope, I'm not gonna let one bad dream throw me off track. I know this is my husband. I know this is my happily ever after and I'm going to manifest the outcome that I deserve. And so I did, right? So in an ideal world, your subconscious mind is so saturated with positivity that if you have any dreams whatsoever about the situation, they are only good dreams. But if the opposite happens, if you get a bad dream every now and then, don't let it throw you off your game. You just go, okay, here's this fear. And you allow it to, if you need to, re recalibrate, right? So for me, those dreams, I have a fear he's going to meet someone else. I revise that fear with affirmations like, I'm the only person he's attracted to. I'm the only woman he loves. I'm the only woman he wants to be with. He only has eyes for me. I'm saying these affirmations to revise these beliefs in my subconscious mind replace these scary thoughts, these limiting beliefs with ones that are in alignment with my manifestation. It's really straightforward. So when you have a bad dream, if you have a bad dream, it does not necessarily mean that, it, that it's going to manifest. It's just like, oh, okay, thanks universe. Here's a, a thing that I, that I didn't realize I needed to work on. Okay, cool. Or if it's just like one random bad dream you've never had any to begin with, it doesn't have to mean anything. You can literally just be like, ugh, that was, that was a shitty dream. And you move on. And you don't allow it to like suddenly pull you into this energetic chess match where anytime you have a bad thought, you must revise and replace it every single time, back and forth, back and forth. That's exhausting. You can just allow this bad thought to just be a bad thought. This bad dream to just be a bad dream. And you move on. And you don't let it linger or persist. You ignore it because sometimes, as you guys know, what you focus on persists. Y'all, I told you I was going to be eating berries. I don't know if you're paying attention to what I'm putting in my mouth. At this point, I'm only eating the raspberries. <laughs> They're so good. These raspberries are so good. So you don't have to revise the dream or say the affirmations. 
the reason that I did in my case is because it was a recurring nightmare. It was a recurring nightmare and it was really hurtful. So I was like, all right, let me, obviously this is like a very persistent thought in my brain. Let me work through this, saturate a new belief set into my subconscious mind that I am the only person that he's attracted to, the only person he wants to be with, the only woman that he loves, whatever. And I did. Um, I can't remember. People always ask me like, did the dream stop? And then he came back. Y'all, it was like years ago. The longer I'm on YouTube, the more time has passed since I manifested him back. I don't think the dreams ever fully stopped. Maybe they slowed down. I can't remember if I was still having the dreams or not when he came back. But regardless, the dreams didn't matter. What mattered was my assumption that this was my person. This is my happily ever after. So I just want you guys knowing this, knowing how easily impressed your subconscious mind is. Now all the raspberries are gone. So I got to move on to the blueberries. Knowing this, just be really mindful of what you're doing before bed. I don't want you overthinking it. Don't like be really worried about it. Just be aware. As an example, I think it was like last year, I broke my own rules. I had a really long day. I was super exhausted. When I went to bed, I didn't want to like follow my normal routine of saying my affirmations as I fall asleep and don't be on my phone. I just really wanted to just like sit here and bullshit and scroll on Instagram. That's all I wanted to do. So I did. I just sat there and I bullshit and I scrolled on Instagram for like 20 minutes before I went to sleep. I came across this video from this yoga instructor that I follow here in San Diego. And she was showing you stretches for um, neck pain or shoulder pain or something. She was like, here's yoga poses for shoulder pain. And so she's doing the things. And I was watching it, even though I don't have shoulder pain. And I thought to myself, I was like, probably should be watching this right before bed. I did it anyway. I go to bed that night, wake up the next morning to a pinched nerve in my neck, going from here into my shoulder. Whether I slept wrong and pinched the nerve or I was like, oh shit, I shouldn't watch this because now I'm gonna manifest neck pain or shoulder pain. Regardless, I manifested neck pain and shoulder pain by watching that video right before I went to bed. So be mindful of that. Don't do the social media stalking of your SP before bed. Don't do it at all, but especially don't do it before bed. And make sure that you are imprinting good positive beliefs on your subconscious right before you go to sleep. But if you have a bad dream, it's not a big deal. Okay. Hope you guys liked the video. I hope the berry smacking wasn't too annoying. If it was, sorry, a girl's got to eat. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.